without it. So real quick, we are going to go over uh, turning the immobilizer off on this ME 7.5 uh, Volkswagen ECU here. Um, so we're just going to take it apart real quick. And uh, there's several ways that you can read the data, but I'm probably just going to pull the EEPROM off. So uh, we just have to get into it here. There we go. Super easy. All right, let's see what chip we have here. This one might might be the one we need. Yep, uh, 95040. That is the EEPROM we need. So uh, we might be able to read it in circuit. So let's try switching to uh, my clip if I can find it. Well, you know what? I don't feel like doing all that. Let's just take it off. And I'm just going to use hot air to do that. Okay, I'm just going to stick this into my orange 5 here. I'm going to use this zip socket. Let's see, let's find our orange 5. Okay, we're going to do a 95040. Okay, we're going to read this. And this is all we need. Now, to turn the immobilizer off, uh, we're going to come here to uh, 12 the address 12 and we're going to change this one to a two and we're also going to come here to 22 and change this one to a two and we also are going to come here and this um this 09 we're going to take this back to 08 and this 08 we're going to take back to no 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 i'm sorry no no that's right yeah that's right the 08 we're going to take back to 07 so we add one here on both of these Let me cut picoscope off there we add one in 12 and 22 from one to two and then we subtract one right here in uh one e and two e right okay and um a couple other things if you cared about this dump, uh, as far as turning the immobilizer off, that's all we have to do. We have to add it uh, 12 and 22, and then uh, 1E and 2E, right? But also in our dump, if we want it, we could get the PIN number for the ECU, which is right here. And you do have to byte swap it, so where we see 6317, uh, you would actually do 1763 in hex. So you go here into your programmer calculator and you go hex and you would type in 1763. And then here, this decimal, that is our actual pin number. So our pin number would be uh, 05987. Okay, so that's pretty simple there. You just swap these around and convert the hex to decimal and that's your pin and also uh, you have your VIN here if you wanted to change your VIN pretty straightforward and there's another thing that's pretty interesting uh, these bytes right here this uh, starting at 34 going to a 3A that is your sync with your instrument cluster. So inside the EEPROM of the instrument cluster, you'll find the same number and make sure it's matched. If this already matched, then 
it's synced up. But let's say you were changing the ECU and for whatever reason you couldn't adapt it, or you were changing your instrument cluster, you couldn't adapt it, you could actually um, match these numbers. So we have the pin repeated and we have that sync code repeated, right? And then you have the VIN repeated several times. Okay, so uh, that is pretty much the only important stuff that we need to really concern ourselves with, mainly the immobilizer. So uh, we can do it again. I'm going to read this. Now, this is the original file. So if we go, let me save this. We're going to turn the immobilizer off one more time just to be clear. Okay, let's say MMO1 here. Okay, and then I'm going to save this as MO2. All right. And this might be a little bit easier to see it. Okay. So this file here, you know, maybe I can make this whole screen bigger. This whole thing here, uh, let's change it in 01. So right here at 12, we're going to add one which turns this to a two and this is always the same this 01 so basically 01 is saying a mobilizer is on and 02 is saying the immobilizer is off okay now this other one here it changes this is going to be i guess to check some for these lines i, I don't know that's why we add one here we're going to subtract here so the nine we're going to turn to an eight and the eight we're going to turn to a seven now, if this was, uh, you know, like a D, then you would go down to, uh, you know, C. So, or if it was a A, you know, you would go back to 9. You know, you, you have to remember how, you know, the hex value works. It's 0 through 9 and then A through F. But uh, anyway, this is the immobilizer office. It's that simple for the, and this works for the ME 7.1s, the 7.5s. Uh, just, just this. You, you read the EEPROM, you change the ones to twos in these two spots, and then you subtract one from each one of these. Okay, and that is it. So I'm not going to save that. I'm just going to edit it here. I'm going to add and subtract right and then we're going to compare we have four differences i'm going to modify which is writing those differences now when we read it we have the correct file so now my eprom is programmed i can cut this off okay and we're just going to put this eprom back and we're going to put it back exactly the same way that we took it off okay we're going to drop a little flux oh drop dropped a lot of flux there okay i'm going to get my hot air going to make sure i have my chip going the right way is that right i can't see the damn light Nope. Okay. I'm going to heat this up. Okay. Chip pulled itself into place. I'm going to push it a little bit because of that glue that was under there. I'm going to let it cool down. And it's actually soldered really good right now, but... I'm just going to touch it up with an iron since I didn't remove the old solder. There you go. Now we are going to seal the case back up. Now these, uh, these are pretty interesting since it has this sticky seal. You actually don't need any more adhesive. Usually um, it will stick back together pretty good. But I think I'm still going to put a little bit because it looks like it got a little thin down here. And I guess we better 
clean away the flux for good measure, huh? And that is it. I'm going to put this guy down. Going to close it back up. If I can find the right screws. There they are. And that is how you turn the immobilizer off on a uh, ME 7.1 or 7.5.